Okay, what we're going to do today is make sure that you know how to set up uh, your paper in correct MLA format. Your Rules for Writers book covers pretty much everything you need to know in order to get your paper set up correctly, but what this tutorial will do is show you how to do all the things in Microsoft Word as far as where all the buttons to push are and everything so that you know exactly what you need to do to make that paper look the way it's supposed to look. So the first thing we want to do once we've opened uh, the Word document is make sure that all our default settings are in correct MLA format. First of all, you want to check the font. Now, a lot of times, uh, Word 2007 is going to try and default you to Calibri size 11. That's not what we want. You go up here to font, and if it's got you set on Calibri, make sure you set it to Times New Roman. And if it's got you set on size 11, go ahead and change it to size 12. Times New Roman 12-point font is the correct font to use for MLA format. Next thing we want to do is check our margins. If we go to Page Layout, there's a button right here that says margins. What we want for MLA format is one inch margins all the way around. Now Word 2007 is convenient in that it has this normal setting that's exactly what you want uh, for MLA format. If you're using Word 2003, there's a chance that it could try and default you to one and a quarter inch margins. That's not what you want. You want to make sure that you double check and fix it so that it's one inch margins all the way around, top, bottom, left, and right. Okay. Now we're pretty much ready to go ahead and start putting the heading on the paper. First thing that the heading needs, according to MLA format, is your name, the student's name. So, Joe P. Student, or whatever your name is. Now, before we hit enter, we want to make sure that we've got the spacing done correctly. Go over here in the paragraph section to spacing, and make sure you've got it set to double spacing. MLA formatted papers are done in double space. There's the chance that it could be automatically set to 1.15 or 1.0. You need to change it to 2. Second of all, and this is very important and also very easy to miss, you want to click this paragraph button right here and go down here to this little box that says don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Click that box. What that will do is that will make sure that Word doesn't do this stupid thing that it likes to do where it puts a little half space between paragraphs every time you hit enter. What that does is makes your paper look all weirdly spaced out. Uh, it takes up extra space toward your page count. It's not correct MLA formatting, and you'll lose points for it. Make sure you've clicked this button so that Word doesn't try and do that. Now, when we hit OK, we're ready to hit Enter, and it will move down the correct double spacing distance. That's where you put your professor's name, so you can put Professor Adams, Mr. Adams, Professor Brock Adams, whatever you want to put, fine with me. Next thing comes the class, class name, so you can put English 102, Comp 102, whatever, and then comes the date. It goes in this format. Day of the month, month, and year. Now, when it's time for the title, we hit enter one time, go up, and center justify it, type our title, hit enter just one more time, and go back to left justification to start the paper. Now what you'll notice is that I didn't put a whole bunch of extra spaces between the date and the title and I didn't put a whole bunch of extra spaces between the title and the first line of the paper. It's just hitting enter one time each time. Putting extra spaces in here is completely pointless and shows that all you're trying to do is get closer to the uh, final page count or whatever. MLA format calls for no extra spaces in here. You'll also notice that with the title, I just wrote it in the exact same font as everything else on the paper. I didn't bold it, I didn't underline it, I didn't put it in quotes, I didn't italicize it or use any crazy fonts or anything. It's just written there. Don't put any of that extra stuff in your title. Just write it in normal text like everything else on the paper. Now, we're getting close to being done uh, with the setup of the page. What we need to do now is create our page numbers. So you go up here to insert go over here to page number and what this will do if you click on top of page is it will automatically put a page number in the header of every page go down here and pick the third one which puts it in the top right and now all you got to do is type your last name here and double check to make sure that it hasn't tried to put you back into Calibri 11 point it might try and do that so make sure that it's still in Times New Roman 12 point font as you type your last name and the page number now, when you double click out of that, it'll be automatically sitting up there at the top of the page, and if you go down to any other page, 
it'll automatically change the page number to whatever page you're on. So once you do it the first time, you don't have to think about it again after that. Now that pretty much covers everything you need to know as far as setting up your paper. A couple other things you need to make sure you don't forget. First of all, if you type this on one computer and print it on another, you need to double check all the formatting things before you hit print. For example, if you write it at your laptop or at home and take it to the printing lab, there's the chance that when you open it on that printing lab computer that the format could change because they've got their words set up separately. That's not an excuse for your paper being uh, in the wrong format. You have to double check and make sure that everything is correct before you hit print. Second of all, double check again after you hit print. Look at the paper and make sure it looks the way it's supposed to look when it's actually printed out and in your hand. Last of all, when everything looks good, put a staple in the thing. I'm not going to take a paper if it's not stapled. Buy a stapler if you don't have one. Do not bring me a stack of unstapled papers. All right, that should pretty much cover setting up just your regular papers. Um, when you do have a works cited page, it will require a little bit more information and I'll create a tutorial for that as well. But for now, this uh, should be everything you need to know. You'll be all set. Good luck on your paper.